The other day I saw the weirdest fish in the supermarket. These small little mackerel with another fish sticking out of its mouth. I decided to bring some fish home. Here we have a milkfish and above it we have three of those small little mackerels. This time without the weird other bit of fish hanging out its mouth. I'll be drawing two different fish in two different ways. Both very fun techniques, but completely different. Look at these little mackerel. Incredible, all those shiny, shimmering colours. And we can take a look behind the gill cover as well. Have a look. For the first one, I'm going to shade the whole area in using a 2B graphite stick. As weird as it looks, I'm now going to chop a rubber into pieces using a scissors. And with the chopped up rubber, I will now rub the shape of my fish. Curved line, dorsal fin, and the curved line for the underneath of the fish next, ending in the tail. For the next bit, I'm going to be using a variety of pencils and a gel white pen. 6B, B, 2B and the white pen. Using a 2B pencil, I'm going to now add much more detail to these fish's eyes. These mackerel have large eyes, so I'm going to make sure that I add details to accentuate that. Fish don't have eyelids except for a few species of shark that have a membrane in order to sleep. But most fish don't have eyelids, so they're wide open and staring. Now I'm adding detail to the gill cover, bringing that out. These three fancy artist rubbers aren't my favorite, so I'm going to go back with my chopped rubber and start to add in little details that show these tiny fishes skeletons. It's as if these fish are so small and their skin is so thin that their skeletons show through very clearly. With a 6B pencil I'm adding in the feathery details on the tail. Long thin feathery lines that make it look like a tail fin. Now with my HB, I'm shading over the skeleton. I don't want my fish looking like an actual skeleton. It has skin on top. So this shading will show that it's fleshy. Finally, with my white pen, I'm gonna pick out any really shiny white details where the light is just reflecting off that fish and is so shiny. For my next fish drawing, I'm going to draw two curved lines with an HB pencil. Curved line on top, curved line underneath and finally the tail. With the same HB pencil, I'm now adding in the detail of the disc of the eye, the iris, and just the outline of the shape around the eye. Here we have the dorsal fin, the anal fin, the tail fin and details, and the pelvic fin. Now the gill cover. Using a 2B pencil, I'm shading behind the gill cover, and now the iris of the fish. Fish's eyes are very interesting because they can't adjust the size of their iris. So when light comes into their eyes, they can't control it like we can. They usually have to go to a darker space if the light is really bright. The other thing that's different between our eyes and fish's eyes is that fish 
can see in colour, but they're much more adapted to seeing movement. This helps them, to, of course, to catch prey. Now adding detail to the nose area and the operculum, or the gill cover. Bony fish like this have gill covers, which are hard, which allow them to breathe even when they're staying still. Fish like shark don't have these gill covers. They have flaps of skin over their gills, which means a shark, in order to breathe, must keep moving. Here you can see I'm adding a mixture of mid-tones at the moment. This particular fish, the milkfish, has a few scratches and tarnishes on its gill cover, which are quite interesting to draw. Here the nose area. Fish have a little sort of hole for the nose. Using a mid-tone pencil, I'm adding the scales. You can see at the very top of the fish, the lines curve to give the effect of the fish being 3D and the line curving off the edge of the fish as if it's going round the other side. Here the backbone. And now I'm going to go for scale by scale detail. At the bottom of the fish the scale scales are smaller and in the middle of the fish near the backbone the scales are larger. Using a rubber I can put back in the light that's reflecting off the fish by rubbing out some of those scales. Now using a 6B pencil adding detail to those scales. Each one carefully drawn round. Where the light is reflected off the fish, the scales sort of disappear. Some of the scales will be done in lighter pencils as well. Using a B and an HB pencil, here you can see the patterns that are on each scale. Little sort of spiky lines. On some scales the light is so shiny that you can't see the patterns. Details on the pectoral fin now using an H pencil just to add the patterns. Now a 6B, adding more detail and the feathery pattern. Now the anal fin, shading with a H pencil so that it looks like it's underneath the fish. Finally, the tail fin. Using a 6B first, I'm adding the darker shades along the edges of the tail. Then I'll be using a lighter pencil to put in some of the patterns and the edges of the tail here. building up layers of shading bit by bit, bringing out the pattern on the tail. Now the dorsal fin using an HB and a 6B pencil for contrast. 
The 6B pencil gets the main shape and the main stripes and patterns on the dorsal fin. The HB fills in the lighter details. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to draw these two arty fish. If you loved it, please hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nash Henkel Art. Thank you for watching.